this is a video to show you how to make a card. You'll start with this template, either uh, you, know, you use the poker template for starters, and then this is what we're aiming for. In here, I've got a reference, and that's the basic layout of the card that I'm thinking. Then I've got a reference for what a Pac-Man style ghost might look like for my imaginary Pac-Man card game. I've got a folder here, which contains all the different elements inside this um, particular card. So using the guidelines, as well as the grid lines, you can lay things out nice and evenly. These lines are accessed by pressing command colon, and that will turn on and off your uh, guidelines. These guides up here are a little different, this just shows you what's safe. So if you want any important text or icons or um, any imagery that really needs to be seen, then you'll have it within that green line. The blue line is basically our cut line and the red line is called the bleed. So any artwork or borders need to go all the way to the red line, even though we're gonna cut here. We just don't want those things to be cut off accidentally. Okay, so let's try making this style of card. What I'm going to do first is create a new group, which is like a folder to contain things. And let's make a blue number three card. I'll create a new layer in there. And my first thing will be to get a nice blue color and make it quite dark. And I'm going to use the rectangle tool to create it. So I'm just going to click outside the shape, outside the workspace. And we can see anything appearing within the workspace is now that blue color. Okay. In addition to that, we need these kind of border elements. Okay. So this element here will contain the number. So I've already marked out where I want this. So I'm going to use the grid lines to tell me where to put the next, the next one. Okay. So you would have already created this using your sketch in your sketchbook. So I've got that same color selected, but now I'm going to use the pen tool by pressing P and I've got shape selected, not path. So I'll click up in this space, but I want to create a new layer. I've just turned off. I'll turn this off for the moment. So I can't see the blue and I'll line it up here. So I'm going to click in here and click here, then click and drag so I can get this kind of curve, then click here. Shift click up here and then click all the way back here. So now if I turn this layer on, I've got a border element. You can't see it because we don't have this other color here, this yellowy color. So I'll show you how to sample a color. I'm going to click in the color swatch and select this yellow and click OK. And above the rectangle layer, I'm going to create a new layer and this will be this kind of background yellow. Turn the reference off and I'm going to line it up, not using the pen tool. I'm going to use the rectangle tool and I'll click and drag from here all the way down to here. Okay. So now I've got this background element. Let's just see, does it line up with the other one? No, it's not quite right. All right, so you line that up wherever you want, but for my card, I've got to make them um, all the same, so I'll conform to this one later. Now, there's something that I want to do with this. I want to curve the edges. So if I double click on there, I can get access to the color. Actually, it's the properties of it that I want to see. 
So if I click in to window properties, I can see a few other elements that I can affect. So I want to curve this area here and let's make that a curve of 30 pixels. If I click 30 and then hit enter, all of these are linked. So all four corners have been curved. We only see two of them. We're only going to see two of them because we've got this element here. I'm going to duplicate this by clicking and dragging it here. And let's just get it out so we can see it. And let's rotate it, Command T, rotate it around and put it down in this space here. Okay. So now I need the numbers and I'm going to put, oh, I have to line this up a bit better. Let's go to there and come down to here. Okay. So now I need my numbers. I'll press T for the, the type tool and click here and just type in the number three. I can't see it because it's the same color as the background. So let me just select it and then choose white. So now I can see it. I can put it up into this space. Use the arrow keys for fine tuning. And that looks good. I'm going to command, uh, sorry, I'm going to click and drag that. And then command T and rotate it. So that I can put this one, whoops, put this one down into this space. Okay. Now, if I'm really careful, I should be lining up the height between here. And so it should be equal to the height here. Okay, so think about how things are laid out. Now I'm going to create this little ghost character. Okay, so I want the ghost to be about that big. So I'm going to basically map out how big I want it to be. So I've got this guideline here. Actually, it will fit nicely into here. Let's bring that in a little bit, I think. Okay, so I think if the ghost is about this big, it should look good. So I'm going to use the pen tool again. I really should be naming my layers here. So I might say border top and border. Okay. So that I always know where these things are. I can find them really easily. Okay. So on top of, at least on top of this layer, I can create a new layer. And I'm going to use that pen tool again, P. So I'm going to click and let's see, can we click, shift click here? Um, I'm going to just change that fill color to the green of the ghost. And then I'll go into the middle. Now I'm going to bring a guideline right into the center and it snaps there nice and easily for me. And I'll click and drag here. And I want a guideline on that line so I know where to come back down to. Click here, then shift click down here. And I can just start putting in some guidelines, some, uh, some of these lines here. And I click and drag another guideline in. And I'll zoom in so you can see it. I'm going to just shift click down here. and try to line these up reasonably well. Okay, so maybe that one's the middle. This one about here. And let's see if we can get it roughly even. So how many points we've we got? One, two, three, four, five. Let's move that one over using the arrow keys and click and drag it. Now it's not totally even. What I can do is click here and use the direct selection direct path selection tool just to move these over and line them up a bit better. Okay. Something like that is good for now. To create these eyes, um, I might use the ellipse tool. So I'll click and drag down to the ellipse tool and I'm going to create that on top. Uh, I want it to be white. The whites of his eyes 
and I'll click and drag that. Now I get an ellipse, so I'm going to hold shift, so I get a circle. All right, there's one. I can just call that I white. Click and drag it onto here and press V to move it over. Okay, so it looks pretty good. I'm going to duplicate one of those. Let's duplicate that one. Change its color to blue. Okay, so maybe this kind of blue. And Command T just to make it smaller. And let's have him looking over this way. Heap return. Dupe, well, actually, I call that I blue. Duplicate that one. Drag it over here. So roughly the same. Let's get him looking a little bit further that direction. Command colon to turn the layers, the uh, guides off, and there's my new card. So if I needed to create a blue four, I would just duplicate that whole group, change it to blue four, come in here, I'll just turn these ones off, come in here and just change the text to a four, and this one to a four. And I don't have to recreate the whole card. Of course, if I wanted a red four, I could click and drag that and change this to red. Come in here and just change my colors. So double click, choose the red color that I want. And there's a red down here somewhere. Okay. Border bottom, double click here, sample from there, then use my rectangle, double click and sample from there, and I've got a red four. So once you've done the first um, couple of cards, especially if you've done your artwork, it shouldn't take too long to duplicate what's necessary, and you'll end up with a whole heap of cards. Each of these cards we have to flatten and I'll show you how to do that. So if I've got this red four, I'll press option command E. And now I've got everything from that folder merged onto one layer. It looks exactly the same. Okay. But now what that means is I can command A and command C to select all and copy. And then I can come over to my template where I'm going to print eight individual cards. This is an A4 sheet of paper. So I can command V and paste that into here. So eventually I would have maybe red four, red three, red two, red one, uh, red five, red six, red seven, red eight. And I'd have all my red cards ready to be, ready to be printed and then glued onto cardboard. Okay. That was a pretty long session. Hopefully you got all that ask questions if you need to. Good luck, guys.